Between you and me, Aver. Always thought you'd be a good child. About you and Bridget. When do you wish to be wed? The sooner I can make her my wife, the happier I will be. But we are fine to wait until everything has settled here. Enough waiting. Cool your forge and cover your anvil. Let's get you married. Wonderful. Shall we gather everyone? Gather your wife and your courage. I'll bring the people together. I am honored to stand before you, Gunnar, Bridget, on this bountiful day, to celebrate the strength of your bond and see you wed. I am in witness of a love that inspires and empowers. I invite you now to speak your vows. To you, my darling Bridget, I offer this blade, forged in flames that burn as brightly as my heart does for you. A blade as sharp as your wit, as glinting as your beauty. May it sing through the air as sweetly as your voice meets my ears. Dio, see to the carriage you gonna. To never am lookest for the door he to tea and hurry at. And I, you, I give you my sword and my promise that I will stand at your side forever. Heed for the prodigy on future and heen, a dissolved tawaloch in hope, a premonition. On the mount of scrying a foresight, para toivi a sweeping adventure meeting to. Your enoid will demarach. A dean as strong, a buratiki. A quell as he fears, a calon, and head wander at Such poetry, oh dear. You make me cry, my love. Let his head van Evan Gillen, Trebowid and beyond. I offer you this ring. And take yours in kind. I will wear it with pride and honor, warmed by the love of so perfect a lady. And I quisk of a Valkalon, adoration of feed and myth. This is the greatest day of my life. Embrace me, my love. <laughs> With our couple now bonded in matrimony, now we drink. Strange feeling, brother. Weddings are the beginning of something. This feels like something of an end. The first happy union in our home. We have matured into something greater. So yes, a beginning and an end, I think. Gunnar, you old trout. You're a married man. Never thought I would see the day. Nor did I. And not for lack of trying. Bridget, I gift you a formal welcome to our clan and our family. You're a fine addition to Gunnar's life and to ours. Dear Javier, I couldn't be more happy to be Hoping now that you wash in the case of years. Yes. 
course. I... As I say, it is wonderful to have you. Alves, I'm surprised you did not serenade the bride and groom with a verse or two. Oh, I wished to, I did. But all that came to me were insults and jibes. Another time, I think. You've been among us for quite some time, Reda. Are you ready to settle? Make a home here? For a year or two, perhaps. But I am not the settling kind. I am a wanderer. Always searching, never finding. Maybe one day. And how are the marriage customs in your country, Hytham? Something like this? Like this in all the most important ways. There are smiles, cheers, and warm embraces. All that is needed, I think. Ranvi, saw you looking a little lonely. Thought I might come and join you. How nice. Are you enjoying yourself? I am. I never thought I would see Grathold Gunner so enraptured by a woman. Enraptured by anything, for that matter. He's a hard one to read, but I am pleased for him, and for this day of rest and respite. After everything, a few days of feasting will do the people some good. They need this. They do. Will you walk with me? Anywhere. Lead on. Something has been on my mind for some time. I am no seer, but I foresaw this day long ago. Not Gunnar's marriage, but our situation. Our success. How do you mean, our success? I mean to say that I saw our settlement flourishing, through our victories in war and in diplomacy. And from the day we set out from Norway, I knew that you would make a fitter leader than Sigurd. It was never in his character to lead. It was always within yours. I see. Do you? You might have warned me. You would not have listened. Fair. I do hope you see it now, in all that you have done for us. Ranvi, you and the people here have done more for me than I could ever repay. I am honored by your faith in me, and your confidence. As I am honored by your love. And I by yours. Eivor, I want you to know that Sigurd and I are... We are severing the bonds of our marriage. We share a love that is steadfast. And I have faith it will forever be so, but my heart is yours. That much he knows. And I believe he is happy for us. Are you sure? Sigurd's desires are bigger than any man or woman can offer. He longs for something more. Something only he can find. All he wants is far, far away. All I need is right here. Shall we find our way back to the wedding? Bridget might give another speech. We must not miss that. About that, I have not understood a single word of hers since Glowichester shine. Really? I find she speaks beautifully. With poetry, even. Are you kidding? Am I? Come, we should go. <laughs> <laughs> 